Hi guys, it's Pink Vision Tara here and I'm going to do um, a reading for air signs. So this is for October for air signs. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest. And I hope everyone's well. So air signs, what do we need to know? Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Spirit Guides and Ancestors. What do we need to know? What are the messages that the collective needs to know? First message for ear signs. Nine of Cups reversed. Hopefully you can see that. So maybe someone, a wish hasn't come true or a wish is delayed or wishful thinking. So don't think bad thoughts upon anyone because stuff like that can come back to you. You know, leave um, someone's karma up to the universe because it, it yeah, never loses an address. So don't wish ill on anyone. Wish them well and um, let what they've done, um, let the universe deal with that. Um, maybe, you know, something that you're dreaming of isn't really for you. Sometimes what we want is not what we actually need. The chariot reverse, so two reverses, so some things happening for you, air signs. Maybe a car breaking down, maybe feeling stuck, not being able to move, maybe not being able to go away or not knowing where um, you're headed or what direction you should um, move forward in, you know, what, what direction you should move to. Um, yeah, wanting a new car, wanting a new um, way of life, maybe. Eight of Wands reversed. Okay, so these are messages delayed. Uh, maybe look in your spam box. Maybe if you're applying for jobs, maybe the response has gone somewhere else and you don't realize and you think you haven't got the job. But just have a look. Um, I feel like there's a direction that you're not looking at. Or maybe there's some um, a sort of unreciprocated feelings or actions maybe someone wants to uh, send a message of love to someone but it's not going to be received that well or it wasn't received that well or just um, messages that are delayed communication that's delayed so a lot of sort of stuck energy reversed energy maybe that dream job wasn't for you or what you know or you'll find out it isn't for you two of swords so there's a lot of um, thoughts a lot of thinking um what should i do next where should i go it's a bit dark isn't it oh. a lot of mental sort of anguish and and we're trying to work out what direction to go in Sometimes it's hard, left or right. Stay where you are or move forward and do something new. It could be work related. Maybe you're in a job because it's convenient and it's close and it's money, but it's not really what you want to do. Four of Cups reverse. So I think if you if you don't make the decision now to move on, you'll feel stuck. You'll feel really stuck emotionally. I think you're thinking of um, what's lost. Or you're not thinking that there is something else out there for you. There is something else. You are capable. I think, I feel like there's a bit of low self-esteem in this reading. Like someone feels that maybe they're not worthy enough uh, to give something a go because they probably wouldn't be good at it. But you really should just give it a go people even if it's like a job or even creating your own business a lot of people start businesses with 50 60 dollars and they do it in their garage you know so it's almost saying your self-esteem doesn't match your ability so you know start believing in yourself basically start believing in yourself seven of swords reversed so um the liar, the cheater, the thief is on their way out or they've been uncovered or discovered or, you know, lying on your CV is not a good thing or someone might get caught lying on their CV. Seven of Swords, it's deceptive. You know, someone's not being honest and maybe they've been caught 
or finally being caught. Maybe you're working with someone that's, you know, gotten away with something for quite a long time and now they're finally getting caught. The world, the wheel reversed. So, you know, luck, there's a lot of reverses here. It's, it's a really weird month. Maybe it's because we're going into Christmas and, you know, there's obviously turmoil around the world. These are the fixed signs in this um, card. So maybe you're dealing with one of the fixed signs or maybe the world, the wheel of fortune. Mm. I, I feel like someone's not being very confident. I also feel there's the world in the middle. The world's going to be thrown into a little bit of chaos. The world that we know is going to be thrown into a chaos. Ten of wands. So, you know, there's a burden. The weight of maybe carrying the home on your shoulders. That's interesting. And this one here, it's quite red. It's quite red. So it's like um, blood almost. On a castle. Or the stress or the weight of carrying the families on your shoulders or not sure there's it's an interesting reading i feel that you're really stuck this month but we want to see why and work out whether or when you're going to come out of that maybe um there's definitely someone's been quite gluttonous maybe someone's stealing from work and they get caught five of cups reversed so that's better this Five of Cups is quite an emotional card, feeling quite drained, and, and it's reversed. So I think this is a work reading. I sort of feel that you're quite stuck where you are, and it's time to move on to something new, but you don't have confidence in yourself to actually do that. Yeah, I think it's about confidence. I'll just do a couple more. Two of Pentacles. So it's I think almost it's like the devil you know and the devil you don't. The coins are in two hands, there's two ships. What should I do? Go to the, you know, try something new. There's two twos here. Stay where you are, that's the infinity sign, or move on to something new. Let's see what the next one is. The seven of wands reverse. So we've got two sevens there, both. Two sevens, both reversed. I think you'll move to calmer waters once you actually... Um, Decide to take the move. Um, two of Cups reversed. Uh, two of Cups, not reversed. Two of Cups. So maybe um, a new love comes in or a new love for yourself or a new love for this job or just romance might come in as well. So there might be some romance. Maybe you meet someone at a new job. But I really feel that someone isn't happy where they are. They don't know what to do. They don't. They haven't been able to find anything online that suits them. But I think something is coming. Um, and you need to decide whether you want to try something new or you want to stay in the same position or be stuck where you are for, you know, longer. So that's what I think is happening, guys. Have confidence in yourself. If you want to start your own business, there's no time like the present. And I think you should. And if you're not happy where you are, move, leave, go. And, you know, romance could be just around the corner. Hmm. So I'm going to do a oracle for each sign. So Aquarius, Aquarius, what do you need to know? What do you need to know? Communication. So, um, yeah, talk to people, talk to your boss, talk to yourself, talk to your family. Uh, maybe you need a job in communication, talking to people. Maybe you need your own social media outlet to talk. Maybe you've got a voice and you've got a message that could really work. Libra, Libra, what does Libra need to know? This one. Perseverance, see, I think it's all about not giving up, I mean, yeah, I think this is about work, you know, sometimes it, it takes a while to get things off the ground, but once they get off the ground, um, they can you know, you can soar. So perseverance, guys. And then Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? 
Gemini. Surrender. Surrender to the universe. I am worthy of a better job. I am worthy of more money. I am worthy of my own business. I'm worthy of success. I'm worthy of love. I'm worthy of um, freedom. I am worthy. So I surrender all. Universe, I want something new to come into my life work-wise. I want money and abundance to flow to me in, in, in expected and unexpected ways. So please, universe, God, with um, absolute gratitude, I, I want this to manifest. And I know I'm worthy of it. So I'll just do a little oracle as well. Aquari uh, Aquarius, Aquarius, what do you need to know? Everything's flipping. Aquarius, Aquarius. Despair. So that's a tough card. Um, you might really not know what to do. You might have someone around you that's not feeling emotionally stable. Um, someone or a lot of people could be quite desperate at the moment. Um, that's understandable. A lot of people have lost jobs and um, livelihoods and, and loved ones. It's, it's a hard time. But we can't give up. I think the biggest message is we can't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up because you're loved. If you're feeling down, don't give up. Don't give up. If you're desperate, message me. Message me. Um, Libra. Libra. House. So, of course, home's important. Work, I think this is a work reading. The home obviously is um, in focus, so everyone needs to be happy. See, this is like the home, and there's blood on the wall. So home's in focus, buying a home, leaving a home, moving home, um, making sure that the home is stable. Gemini, Gemini, what do you need to know? service so it's work related you know maybe as I said with the communications you know it's time to and all these cards will relate to everyone but they were focused on each sign um Gemini it's time to maybe um yeah put what you know your knowledge out into the universe for others you might help someone and you don't even realize it so I hope that helps guys but the basic thing for me is you are worthy of a better job. You are worthy of success. You are worthy of more money. Um, you just don't realize it. So let's start um, working on our self-esteem because the universe wants you to surrender and the universe wants you to um, be abundant in all areas of your life. 